Welcome to Mr. Mitsubishi YouTube channel covers a lot of all new Outlander stuff. Uh, today in this video we'll have a look at this. So let's say you bought your brand new 2022 Mitsubishi Outlander and now the question is about the engine maintenance and the overall maintenance of it. So when do you do the oil change? How often you do it? where to find information about it. So we will be covering all that in this uh, video. Uh, to all my subscribers, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you're new uh, to this video, new to the YouTube channel, feel free to browse the channel for a whole bunch of different Outlander videos. And also a subscribe button hit would be much appreciated. So now let's check out, uh, you know, what we have where to find all the maintenance information right so this is a nice 2.5 four-cylinder engine has cvt transmission super all-wheel control very nice equipped um, outlander of course uh, this by the way is fully loaded gtp so now let's have a look what's the deal with the uh, oil with the engine oil with the maintenance and where to find all that information Okay, so we're in the Outlander and uh, if you want to know uh, the quick answer to what's the oil change interval for the uh, all new Outlander, it is uh, 16,000 kilometers or uh, 10 months. So at least, you know, once a year you should be doing it even if you go below 16,000 kilometers. But um, here's what I can show you where you can see that on your vehicle, okay? So now uh, here on the um, setting, uh, selection screen so basically you go to uh, settings right here and then you scroll down to uh, maintenance and oil control system you click on there and this is where it shows where your uh, service is due in kilometers now this won't show you time so this will show you kilometers uh, only so you kind of have to uh, track these things uh, yourself as well right now depending on um, uh, the dealership that you're like you know you bought your vehicle and that services you there might be somewhat conflicting information that you see on this uh, sticker right here so a lot of dealerships will be putting these stickers on here and it'll show you when your uh, next uh, service visit is due now this shows 8,000 kilometers this shows 16,000 kilometers let's figure out why the difference right now every outlander comes from the factory with warranty uh, and maintenance manual so typically it's put in the uh, glove compartment so make sure when you take delivery of your outlander it's there otherwise just ask your uh, dealership and it's a very good information there so we can find a lot of answers to a lot of questions so if we flip the page uh, in this case it's going to be the 19 so here's what we can see so basically this is your uh, maintenance schedule how it's um, you know uh, suggested from your manufacturer from Mitsubishi right so as we flip through the pages you can go I believe it was close to 200,000 kilometers of maintenance that the vehicle should have right but if we look at the first little while here's what we can see so this the 8,000 or 5,000 miles, uh, basically the recommendation is to bring the vehicle in for tide rotation and uh, it's gonna be also like a general fluid checkup of the vehicle, right? Now, if we move here to um, uh, 16,000 kilometers, so this is where, again, we do rotate, uh, we rotate the tires and we also check brake lines and uh, cables, inspect uh, brake pads and rotors and check the uh, CVT oil and of course we change the oil and replace the filter right so here's the difference between 8,000 and 16,000 so at 8,000 it's a vehicle checkup that includes a rotation of your tires at, and there's no oil change here at 16,000 kilometers this is where you must do your oil change right or every 10 months so because the oil just basically as it sits in your vehicle it just ages and doesn't function as well so you have to do it just based on time as well even if you drive only let's say you know 5,000 kilometers every 10 months you still have to do it every 10 months so it's always either or either you do 16,000 kilometers or 10 months so now basically at 10 months they can also see you know they'll be like you know check the tire repair seal and expiration date 
and everything else so they'll kind of like check these uh things for you right then the next one is going to be at 24,000 kilometers right so we go in at 16 add eight more and then again you'll come in just a quick vehicle check rotate the tires good to go till uh 24,000 uh, kilometers or 15 miles and then they'll uh replace the air filter they'll check your um keyless operation system and uh, what else are they going to do um and then uh at 32,000 kilometers again you know uh we go back to checking the brake lines and um you know do change engine oil accordingly right so we can see how um you know you should follow the uh the maintenance guide right so and this is basically what it shows you right so that's why just wanted to show you there might be you know some conflicting information i i get that actually asked in comments as well hey like when is the oil change due is it like eight thousand six thousand or whatever right so and here's the answer right so just like we covered right now it's every sixteen thousand kilometers um or uh 10 months depending uh what comes first right so and this mark here eight thousand. well the dealership wants to see you here um we uh, like after eight thousand kilometers to make sure the tires are wearing out uh, even and the vehicle uh generally is healthy and good right now before uh, we go here so to speak i just wanted to address the uh two things so at the end of the video we'll be looking at uh, where to uh, see what kind of oil you need if you're interested in that but uh, right now i want to address the tire rotation right so same thing very often we hear from clients i don't care about that like you know just don't touch my vehicle do the oil change like you know tires are good uh in real life application if you don't rotate the tires they're gonna wear out way sooner and you'll need to be, uh, be forced basically to replace your tires uh way sooner because the fronts wear out different than the rears and if you don't uh rotate them then basically you just wear out your uh, uh tires faster and it end up costs you a way more than that right so but this is a very good uh reference tool your warranty and maintenance manual so you know flip it to the appropriate page and then it's interesting you can just see what uh you know what ma uh, maintenance your vehicle needs as it ages and uh racks up more kilometers now let's see where to find what kind of oil you need to put in your vehicle so typically you know if you go into a authorized service you just find your dealership you drive in they will know what to do with your vehicle you don't need to educate them but some people want to know and here's the answer to it and answer to uh, that question we can find in outlander owner's manual right so you won't see that in your warranty and maintenance manual what kind of oil you need to go uh, with so but you can find that in your owner's manual so you go on your uh this uh, uh basically um owner's manual section where it shows oil right so it's 10 2 and that will talk about uh oil so now we need to find Ten two right here right so and this is ten two so and it shows uh capacities and recommended uh, fluids right so and then you can see on your engine oil what do they um you know uh recommend so mitsubishi motors genuine motor oil sn zero w-20 right so basically that's what they recommend for the oil um and uh that's where you can read up a lot of uh, information related to that uh, as well so there we go so this is what we uh, covered right now right so this is what you know now you know exactly when you go through your you know maintenance schedule like you will be able to know when it's oil change when it's like maybe differential fluid when there's something else is it time to replace your uh, air filter or is it time to uh do like a brake flush or whatever the case would be right so now you know you can make educated uh, decisions if you're offered some other maintenance items right but uh, basically you know you you can always feel free to uh, increase like you know more items you know I don't know maybe you want to do the brake flush sooner or you want to uh, change the oil change you know a little bit more frequently you you definitely can do that but these are the the basically the minimum standards uh to preserve your warranty to preserve your vehicle as per mitsubishi right so keep in mind 
to get that uh, you know all benefits of the uh, uh, warranty that Mitsubishi is asking uh, you have to maintain your vehicle so you cannot expect not to do uh, you know uh, oil changes and differential flushes and then you know hey my vehicle broke down please cover for me so they're always checking if you're maintaining vehicle and for optimum performance you always want to check your vehicle and maintain it anyway so awesome thank you so much for watching this video i hope this helps a little bit because it's a question i get asked a lot there's a somewhat confusion around it too so hope this was uh helpful to uh, answer a few of those questions so thank you so much for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next video